Good morning and hello everybody. Welcome to the big class video of a bunch of kicks. We're not going to do all the kicks in this video, but pretty close to it guys, so get ready for your legs to be on fire. We're going to start off, as most kicking classes do, with a maigiri, a front kick. There are four parts to a maigiri. Knee up, leg out, pull your knee back, and then put it back on the floor. You kind of have to move a little bit like a robot in order to do a good maigiri. We're going to do about 10 kicks on each leg here guys, I'm not going to explain it too much, they're just regular front kicks, so try to keep up and keep it my pace. And I'm really sorry that my feet kind of got cut off in this part, but I mean I think you know what my back leg looks like, I'm not floating on the floor, although that would be cool, I wish I could float. This next one here is still my Gary, still friend kicks, but we're gonna do what I call quick kicks. As many kicks as you can do. Keep an eye on my feet and watch for me to change legs, and you switch legs when I switch legs. This one's gonna be a fun little combo guys, front kick followed by two punches. We're gonna do that one for about 30 seconds on each leg, not exactly 30 seconds, we've got no timer here, but roughly 30 seconds on each leg. And keep up power here guys, keep your power up, be really really strong on this. I know you're gonna get super sweaty during this video, I did, you can see me wiping off my sweat here, but keep up the good work, keep up the power, you can do it. Now we're going to start working on Heezigiri guys, I'm doing one in slow motion here, but I think most of you already know how to do a Heezigiri. A uh, Heezigiri is just a kick with your knee, so you're going to grab the air like you're grabbing the shoulders of somebody who's invisible, and you're going to pull that invisible person down into your knee. When you do this one, you've got to make sure to keep your back up straight, you're not allowed to curve your back just because it's a kick with your knee and not a kick with your foot. And we're just going to jump straight into doing a combo here because I think everyone knows how to do a Heezigiri. So we're going to jump straight into doing doubles. When I do one, you're going to do two knee kicks with me. This one is going to be Mwashigiri guys, I think a lot of people know this one already but that's okay we're going to practice it anyway. This one's a really good kick to practice balance, so this has four parts just like my gear. Bring up your knee, extend your leg, pull your knee back and then put your foot down, there are four parts. If you can't, can't count all four parts of this kick, you are probably not doing the kick quite right so just keep practicing, that's why we're doing this. This first activity here guys is going to be to hold onto a wall or something, maybe a couch, whatever you have, anything that'll help you keep your balance and we're going to start doing kicks without putting our foot down in between every kick. You're going to keep that knee up, keep your back straight, posture's good and start doing as many kicks as you can in the 30 seconds of the timer down in the corner. And now really quickly guys, no breaks here, we're going to switch legs.
This one is going to be muashi gears without holding on to anything. So make sure that your back is still straight, you're still doing good high kicks, and you don't, you have nothing to hold on to. This one's going to be a little harder. 30 seconds of as many muashi gears as you can do. Switch legs now, I know it's getting tiring. <laughs> We're getting a little bit into the video now, but you can do it. Don't forget to hydrate guys, keep a water bottle close at hand like I did. For this one we're going to jump into some yokogaris, and yokogari of course is a side kick. So for this one it's got four parts just like all the other kicks do. Bring up your knee, extend your leg this time to the side of your body, and kick with the blade of your foot. If you can see my foot in this, I've sort of got it on a funky little angle there. Just take a look, pause the video if you have to, and see what your foot should look like when you do this kick properly. If you can't bend your ankle in the way that I'm doing, some people just can't bend their ankles that way, that's okay. Uh, kick with the bottom of your foot, the flat bottom of your foot. I know you guys are probably going to get a little tired by this point. I know I really was. You can see my face is getting red and I'm getting kind of sweaty in there. So we're going to take a little bit of a mini break and we're going to do a bit of stretching. So follow along with me and we're going to take a little mini stretch here. We are over halfway through the video now, guys. You can do it, keep up the good work. We're gonna move into Ushiro Gary now, and Ushiro Gary means back kick. So you're gonna kick behind you, and I know in class I've called this donkey kick before, and I know that because someone always manages to make a donkey sound. If you're gonna do it, do it now, only once. I hope it's out of your system now. Okay, good, good. Now we're gonna move on. So bring up your knee, kick straight out behind you, and for this one, you're gonna aim with your heel, okay? So stick that heel out. And this kick can be really, really strong, so if you have someone holding a pillow for you, which is totally fine, make sure you have good self-control on this, because I know this is one of the strongest kicks that you can do. This next one is what we call a joint kick. I did have two joint kicks filmed, however, the second of the two, the, the video just, it didn't work out. My feet were too cut off, so I decided to keep that one out. This is one of the two joint kicks that are common in our style of karate, and it's called a kinsetsugiri. Um, in the kata video, if you watch that one, this is one kick that I've had a lot of trouble with before personally. It's really hard to keep your balance on this one because what you're supposed to do is stick your foot out on an angle to the side and uh, keep your back up perfectly straight. And what a lot of people tend to do is twist their spine and they ended up all like pretzely. So <laughs> this is one that I've had to work on a lot. We're just going to do as many as we can do in 30 seconds here, guys. Uh, follow along with what I'm doing and do it at your own pace. If you need to pause the video and do this part twice, I know this kick is a little tricky. It's not one that we do all the time in class. So uh, do what you can to make them as good as you can make them.
We're down to the second last kick here, guys. This one's going to be an Ushiro Gary, but spinning, a spinning back kick. So for this one, you're going to have one leg forward, one leg back, just like you see me doing here in the video, and you're gonna put your forward leg across your body, you're going to spin, and you're going to kick with the opposite leg. Which I know sounds kind of confusing, but watch my feet, try to mirror what I'm doing. Um, make sure there's nothing around you that you can kick for this one, guys, because this one is really, really strong, and it can be really powerful. So if you hit something by mistake, you might hurt it or break it, or just make sure there's nothing around that you're gonna hit by mistake. That would be, that would be bad. And we're just gonna practice a whole bunch of these kicks, guys. No timers for this one. I'm just gonna, we're gonna do this for about a minute. Um, do as many as you can. And I just, I was enjoying practicing, so I didn't time anything for this one. So do, just try to keep up with me, do as many as you can. I mean, you don't have to do the kicks at the same time I do at all, but you can definitely use my legs for a guide. Uh, mirror what I'm doing and take your time, enjoy it, have fun. This is the last kick that we're going to do, and it's one of everyone's favorites, I think. This is a mitobagari, and a mitobagari is a jumping front kick. As you can see, I'm doing it with a slow-mo filter here. I can't actually hover in midair for that long. That'd be cool, though. I mean, that'd be fun. But <laughs> mitobagari is where you do a jumping front kick, so you want to bring up one leg, uh, almost like you're going to skip, and then you're going to kick with the back leg, as you can see me doing here. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think you can see it pretty easily. So. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this kick, but if you don't, follow along as best you can and try to get it right. You can pause the video, you can slow it down, whatever you have to do. And if you hear like a weird tinkling sound in the background, that's my necklace. I'm, it's, it's a weird sound, sorry about that. <laughs> this one isn't timed either, guys, so I was just having fun with it. Just do as many as you can do in the same time I'm doing it. And you switch feet every once in a while and have fun with this one. I mean, it doesn't have to be an exact science. Just do your best. That is it for now, you guys. I hope you had a good sweaty practice. I know I certainly got all sweaty doing this one, so uh, go dry off, have some water, and sayonara. It's 